If you guys enjoy Oculus Quest 2 content or Zenith content, then subscribe to this channel as we continually make videos on both. Hey guys, welcome back to Quest World. Today we are covering sitting down games in our 10 and 5 category. So today we're just talking about 10 games that you can play from your seat comfortably without any issues of running into walls, swinging at things, or getting too, too active. So without any further ado, let's just log into it. list and remember this list is not in any particular order or anything like best to worst but number one is getting the obvious out of the way which is Demio a game that allows you to play a D&D-esque tabletop style game with friends or solo. The game is quite long when you start to play it though so make sure you got a couple hours to set aside before you log in and start playing it. Definitely a great game to add to your library if you want a great social night game. Number two Skyworld Kingdom Brawl. Skyworld Kingdom Brawl is a card game that allows you to build a deck out of a series of many different monsters and creatures, all with different power sets, and you play those cards against your opponent as many as possible in your turn and overwhelm them with your forces. The game is interesting and definitely a lot quicker if you're looking for a fast tabletop game. Number three is Ballista. Ballista is a game that reminds me a lot of something like Angry Birds for the phones back in the day. It is a simple game where you're just in charge of a ballista and you're knocking stuff down. If you wanted a shooter that allowed you to relax a little bit, this is definitely something that could be along those lines. Number four, Trover Saves the Universe. How could we have a sitting game list without mentioning Trover Saves the Universe? It is a game that's literally designed around you sitting down and playing through many different game tropes with just you being in a chair. In fact, your whole story is that you're an alien that sits in a chair. If you haven't played it yet and you love Rick and Morty, my only question to you is why haven't you played this yet? Number five, if you want a good adventure game to sit down and play without swinging at too many things in your vicinity, then I would say Journey of the Gods is the way to go. Not only is it Zelda-esque in its adventure playstyle, you kind of don't have to get super duper active while you're playing this game. Swinging is light, you have the shield which allows you to block and swing very easily, but you also have your crossbow. And because the majority of the game is puzzle solving, playing it from your seat is actually pretty simple. Number six on today's list is Job Simulator. Going back to the satirical kind of funny games, if you just wanted to relax and not get too, too active while playing, Job Simulator is another Rick and Morty-esque humor game where you're allowed to do plenty of fun interactions inside an office space. If you're just looking for something fun and relaxing, this might be the game for you. Number seven on today's list is pretty simple. It's Fruit Ninja. And if you guys don't remember the Fruit Ninja craze from back in the day, it took over everyone's cell phone for a little while. But it's finally available for your Oculus Quest 2. And I know it's been on there for a little while, but how could you make a sitting down list without adding Fruit Ninja to it? As it just lets you sit down and slice fruit. A couple of different modes on this particular game that allow you to enjoy it a few different ways. Number eight on today's list is Tokyo Chronos. It is a story-driven VR experience. It feels kind of like you're playing through a comic book or something like that or a manga rather than actually playing a video game. That being said, if you just want to sit down and have a great experience in VR and be able to play through it many different times and different ways, this is a good game to pick up. Number nine, we're getting back into RPGs with Knight of Queen. The Knight of Queen is a really simple game to sit down and play because of how basic a lot of the RPG elements in this game are. If you wanted something that was more like a Super Nintendo RPG, this is definitely a game you should play. If you enjoyed Pixel Rift 1995, play this game. You won't regret it. And number 10 on the list is VR Chat. If you are not into VR Chat, that's perfectly fine, but I will say that even if you hate it, there's still probably something in there for you somewhere. That being said, the game offers you an ability to connect with many different people from all over the world and it allows you to play different games, different rooms, and wear just about any avatar you want. That is going to do it for today's 10 and 5 list guys, thank you so much. 
Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video and found it informative. But if you want to join the conversation, then come on over to our Discord, Facebook, or Patreon. Thank you for watching, and please keep watching, guys.